12 questions answered correctly is still all it takes for me to sign that £1 million cheque, but all of the first seven answers up to £50,000 are against the wicked ticking clock. Now, for the first two questions, Karen only has 15 seconds to answer, so she has to keep her wits about her. Ready for this? Yep. OK, fingers crossed, darling, lots of luck. Let's play Brand New Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. So, question number one will be for £500. I'll read out the question. As the four options come up, the clock will start and you will only have 15 seconds to give me the final answer. All right, my darling? OK. OK. Question number one is this. Which of these is a slang word for something of poor quality? OK, 15 seconds. Here we go. Bra socks. It's pants. Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got the final pants. It's tough, isn't it? <laughs> I have to tell you, Karen, it's the last point at which you could go home with nothing. I'm sure you won't. You're bright and early. You've got all three lifelines left. Question number two would guarantee you're going back to Liverpool with at least £1,000. Here it comes. In the game Twister, what shapes are used on the mat? Here they come. Stars, circles, triangles, crescents. It's circles, final answer. That's the right answer. You got 1,000 pounds. <laughs> Better? Yeah. Yeah. Of he's, um... I mean, he's a, he's a fine man, David, your partner, but he's... He's a big well, boy. He's a big old boy. You met him when he was a doorman in a yeah, club. Yeah. But he was shy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're making it sound a bit cliched there. What, a shy bouncer? That I met him in a club and he was a bouncer and I was drunk and oh. I wasn't drunk, by the way. I didn't say you were, by the no, way. No, I just wanted to clarify that. OK, <laughs> right. You have a £1,000. OK. Uh, you have all three lifelines. £1,000 safely in the bank for Karen. She now has 30 seconds to answer each of the next five questions. Still not very long, and of course the questions get harder. So the pressure is racking up, but so is the money. This is question number three for £2,000. Which of these dogs shares its name with a perm? OK, 30 seconds, lots of luck. Pyrenean, Poodle, Pomeranian, Pug. Why were you so hesitant? Because we, we're in Liverpool, that's like a skit for someone, like you've got a poodle head. Do you know what I mean? No. So I'm thinking, is that like real? Do other people call people poodle head? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do. You just got two thousand pounds. <laughs> What's this thing? You're an orthoptist. Yeah. And you you do that because you really like looking inside sort of the gory bits of people's eyes since you were a kid. I like looking at people's eyes and seeing things that are like yucky. But what I find funny is that you you, you really like looking into the gory bits of people's eyes, but you're absolutely paranoid about baked beans. Oh. <laughs> baked beans move on their own. So do people's eyeballs. No, no, they, they move. Do. They move on their own like maggots going over each other. Oh, oh I was washing the dishes once and I, and I pinched one in my fingers and I was sick in the What's sink. What's an eyeball? No. <laughs> oh, sorry, I've a lost bean, the plot. A bean. I was sick in the sink. Oh, just thinking about it turns my stomach. You're a weird human being. <laughs> um, you have £2,000. You have three lifelines left. You are four away from £50,000. They're all against the clock. If you do get the fifty grand, you get another lifeline. So, question number four is for £5,000. You've got 30 seconds to give me the right answer. Here it comes. Hepatitis is the inflammation of which organ of the body? 30 seconds. Kidney, liver, heart, brain. Right. I'm fairly sure it's the liver. Not kidney. Not heart. Definitely not heart. That's the right answer. You got five thousand pounds.
All right, back to Karen, who's quietly doing really rather well, much to her partner David's surprise. Uh, she's already on £5,000. She has not yet used a single lifeline. Doing OK? Yeah, doing feel all Feel good? Right. Feel calm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK. Question number five. You can double your money to £10,000. Again, you will have just 30 seconds to give me your final answer. Here it comes. Who sings the first line on the 2010 charity single Everybody Hurts in aid of the 80 appeal? 30 seconds, start the clock. Joe Cole, James Buckley and Lewis Gary Barlow. You know why I'm here, baby? So, I think I'm going to have to ask you all this, please. Okay, long stop at 19 seconds. Audience, all on your keypads, please. This is the question. It's worth £10,000. First lifeline Karen's needed. Who sings the first line on the 2010 charity single, Everybody Hurts, in aid of the Haiti appeal? Now, A on your keypads is Cheryl Cole. B is James Blunt. C, Leona Lewis. D, Gary Barlow. A, B, C or D, all vote now. Three percent say Cheryl Cole, eight percent James Blunt, sixty-six percent say Leona Lewis, twenty-three percent think it's Gary Barlow. Right, restart the clock. I thought you were a it was, so I'm going to go with Leona Lewis. Final That's what I thought it was. <laughs> That's what I thought it was. <laughs> it's the right answer. You have ten thousand pounds. <laughs> OK, you have 10 grand, which is good. Yeah. What sort of money are you aiming for? I'm aiming for 50. Might get it. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. You have 10 grand. Just take your time on each of these. You've got two more questions against the clock. You've got two lifelines. You've got a 50-50. You've got a phone a friend. Just remind you, Karen, if you give me a wrong answer at this point, you lose £9,000. OK? OK. Have a look. Question number six. You can double your money here. £20,000. Here it comes. The World Cup of which sport usually takes place in the same year as the Commonwealth Games? Start the clock. Cricket, rugby league, football, rugby union. I haven't got a clue, so I'd like to phone friends. OK, stop the clock there, phone a friend now. Um, let's have a little look. Can't wait to see what your friends look like. Um, well, you've got Anna, who looks terribly pleased with her. You've got Maureen and um, Mal, who didn't send us a photo, basically. Yeah. So, which one are we going to go for? Right, well, I don't think Anna or Maureen would know that, so I'm going to have to ring Mal. OK, right, so we'll phone, we'll phone Mal. Um, how do you know them? Mal is my friend Jane's dad. So very, very intelligent man. She tells me so. I don't know him. Do you know him? <laughs> have you ever met him? No, I've never spoken to the guy. Chris Darren here, how are you? Oh, hi Chris, I'm fine, thanks, how are you? Ah, I'm OK. Now, we've got, um, we're right in the middle, as you know, of, of Who Wants To Be A Millionaire. That's obviously yeah. why I've rung you out of the blue. Now, I've got Karen here, who for some reason thinks you'll know the right answer to the next question she's stuck on, even though you've never actually spoken to each other. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Yeah, OK. Yeah. Right, all right, mate, well, fingers crossed. The next voice here will be Karen's, then again, you probably don't know what she sounds like. But you'll have 30 seconds. She'll tell you the question. There are still four possible right answers. Mal, it's serious stuff. One of these is worth 20 grand. All right, mate? Yep, fine. OK, right. OK, Here Karen, fingers crossed. Your time starts now. OK, the World Cup of which sport usually takes place in the same year as the Commonwealth Games? Is it cricket, rugby league, football or rugby union? Just repeat, what's the year? In the same year as the Commonwealth Games, which World Cup? Is it the cricket, rugby league, football or rugby union? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. It's not, it's not football. Quick as you can, Mal. No, I don't know. Oh. Oh. Good choice. I know, yeah, wasn't it? Restart the clock. Two random wrong answers leave Karen the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Right, okay. He said it wasn't football. We start the clock. He said it wasn't football. So I'm going to go towards the final answer. You don't know who he is. I know, well, I don't 
know what? Up. You've got ten grand. Well... You've just lost nine grand, Karen. No. I think you should let me have another go. Well, listen, you come out, you've had a nice day, you still go away with a thousand pounds, and we've got a special prize for you as well, because we're like that. Oh. Now, well, you know, we're caring kind of people, look. so you get a thousand pounds. What? What? <laughs> From all of us at ITV. <laughs> no, you get a tattoo. Give her a big hand, what a great good tattoo. She goes away. <laughs> she goes away with one thousand pounds. <laughs>